Hello everyone, my name is Master Chief, and welcome back to some Hunting Simulator 2 content. So it's been about two to three weeks since I've posted a Hunting Simulator 2 video, and there is a reason for that. I have been non-stop hunting through Roosevelt Forest working on this, you know, semi-big project for a small channel like mine. So ever since I started covering Hunting Simulator 2, I've been promising that I would make an ultimate guide for each of the regions. And I have finally had the time and will to sit down and go after every single animal and put together this video for you guys. So this is the ultimate guide to Roosevelt Forest and we're going to be going over it where you can find every single animal, what you need to hunt them, where to find them, the whole nine yards. So I hope you guys are ready for this. It's probably going to be a little bit of a long video. Try to stick through the whole thing. Leave me some feedback down below if you like it or not and what region you want to see me do next. But without further ado, let's get into the ultimate guide for Roosevelt Forest. And we're going to be starting off with everyone's favorite animal, rabbits and hares. Um, yeah, I think we all hate these things. And I think most of us are convinced they don't exist. But trust me, they're out there. But these are easily the hardest animal to find out of all of them. Um, there's not a specific area where you can just go to and just be guaranteed to find a rabbit or a hare. But what I will say is that what you need to hunt them is your dog. I mean, usually I leave my dog at the lodge just because going after bears and stuff is not beneficial. But if you want to find rabbits and hares, I would simply say bring out your beagle. Try to have them as leveled up as you possibly can. And it usually takes about 5-10 minutes to find rabbit tracks or hare tracks. And it should lead you right to it, point you right at it. And as long as you have a shotgun on it, you can bring one down, no problem. So all I'm going to say with that is good luck. Let's move on to pheasants real quick. Pheasants are another one of these animals where they're everywhere, you've probably run into them, and they're not too hard to bring down. So there's not there's, there's not like a specific spot where I'd say you need to go to find them. If you've wandered through Roosevelt Forest at all, you know that they're everywhere and in huge numbers. You should have no issue finding a pheasant. Um, I mean, if you want to have the best luck to find them, I would tell you just walk along the riverbank and just kind of look up on the little hills around it. And usually they'll squawk at you when you're within 70 meters. And if you pull up your binoculars, you should be able to spot them no problem. If you want to bring a pheasant call, you can, but it's, it's kind of not necessary. I carry one just in case if I find a good one. But honestly, I mean, I very rarely carry a shotgun. These things are just something you just got to get one of and just get the completion for it. So pheasants, one shot from a shotgun, easy to bring down. And they're not worth that much, but hey, if you, you got to do what you got to do to complete your lodge. So let's move on to some of the other ones that are just, you just got to get them to complete the lodge. And we'll move on to waterfowl. You know, the ducks and the geese, the ones that you just, they're kind of painful, but hey, you got to do them. So the southernmost pond in Roosevelt Forest is the easiest spot to find waterfowl. I would say go to the um, tree, a little stand down there and just sit there for five, ten minutes. And within that time period, you should be able to bring down, you know, 10 of each and bring them back to the lodge and you should be able to appraise them, keep keep as many of them as you can, and that should be able to complete your lodge no problem. So again, these are one of those you really don't want to spend too much time on. I would tell you 5-10 minutes at most and just get them done. Like waterfowl aren't worth that much in this game and honestly just fill up your lodge and move on. Alright? Like they're super easy. But now let's move on to our next animal that we just all love so much, and that's turkeys. They're another one that are everywhere in the forest, and they're not too hard to find. But all I'm going to tell you is they're going to spook easily. So what I try to do is I try to, you know, scare them out of the bushes and just get, them, get some good shots on them while they're falling away. That's kind of the easiest way i found to bring them down. You don't necessarily need to bring a dog with you at all. You can find them yourself, and... Turkeys are usually worth, I don't know, about 70 credits or so. They're not going to make you any big money, but they're just another one of those you just got to get done and move on with. So, they're everywhere. I kind of stick around the central uh, hill and just kind of look around there. You're going to find them no matter what you do. So, now let's move on to the last animal that's one of those. They're everywhere, and you just got to get it done. That's going to be the red fox. So the thing about the red fox is they're probably one of the first animals you run into when you're playing this game and just wandering out here in the forest. And they're not too hard to bring down, but they can be tricky if you don't get a lethal hit on them. So there are some animals that, you know, it's like you don't get a lethal hit on them. You can, you know, There's no problem tracking them. 
Red foxes, on the other hand, if you don't get a lethal hit on that thing the first try, you can spend a solid hour tracking it. It's just not worth it. So make sure you're either going for the head or making sure you're going to get that lethal hit on it. Because if you don't, I would say it's gone. And just look for a different one. Because these things are so annoying to go after and they're not even worth that much. So find yourself a decent one. Um, they can also be found out in Pawnee Meadows. They're not too hard to come across. I would honestly tell you that if you just need to find one quickly, Pawnee Meadows would be the easier place to get one. But, you know, in Roosevelt Forest, they're everywhere. They're not too hard. They're just a little harder with all the high brush and foliage everywhere. So that's all I'm going to say about them. They're not, they're not worth anything, really. I mean, 100 credits-ish around that. And they're just not that fun to hunt to me, honestly. They're just something that's there and you just got to get. So you see the clip behind you. Make sure that you get a lethal hit on it. Otherwise, you're done. So this thing I managed to injure and he just kind of crawled up in the bushes up there. Their issue you're going to have with them is there's a super small target. But um, honestly, they're not too difficult. Just bring them down. And that's really, really all you can do with these things. So let's move on to the actual animals that we care about that can be worth something to you. And we're going to start with bighorn sheep. Bighorn sheep are definitely worth more than everything we've talked about so far, but they're not necessarily a very valuable animal. So, bighorn sheep can be found, I would tell you, in the southern half of the map. Like, if you look at the map, and I would tell you, from the hunting lodge down south is where you're going to find these things. Um, they're not hard to bring down or anything. You're usually going to find them in pairs, and they're usually pretty decent size here, actually. I've been highly impressed with them. Um... Don't quote me on this, but I think they're a little bigger than the ones in Pawnee Meadows. But, I mean, super nice ones, and usually easy, pretty fine. And just, you can bring them down, no problem at all. Make sure you have a pretty high caliber rifle. I mean, they go down super easily. Now let's get into some of the more interesting findings that I've had while making this video. And that's going to be with the deer. There are two species of deer in, white, in the Roosevelt Forest, and the first one we're talking about is the white-tailed deer. So there is a central hill that I reference quite a bit here in Roosevelt Forest, and it's impossible to miss. If you go north of the lodge you spawn in at, there's going to be that nice hill in the middle. It's impossible to miss. So from that hill, all I'm going to say is from the, like if you're looking at the southeast portion of that, down there in those, you know, yellow trees and stuff, you're going to find white-tailed deer down there pretty easily no matter what you do. Nine times out of ten, there's going to be deer down there. Make sure you have a deer call on you. If you don't see them, just use the call a few times. They're going to be there. And white-tailed deer are usually worth, I don't know, I'd tell you between three to four hundred credits, and they're just kind of a fun thing to hunt, actually. I really enjoy it. So make sure you get a nice one to put up on your wall. You should have no issue finding these things. Just make sure you have a deer call and a relatively large caliber rifle, and they'll go down no problem whatsoever. Now, the other species of deer in Roosevelt Forest is the mule deer. And mule deer are actually pretty easy to find as well. So referring back to that central hill in Roosevelt Forest, what you need to know is that if you look on the northwest side of that hill, you're going to find mule deer. Basically, that central hill is the line between the mule deer spawn and the white-tailed deer spawn. And the mule deer are worth probably about the same as the white tail. I mean, you're looking at three to 400 credits. And they're not too big or anything. They're pretty easy to bring down. And you should, I mean, quick hunt. No problem at all to bring these things down. Um, what I will tell you is a deer call is very essential for, I mean, for both species of deer. And it really is a huge help in the forest because when the brush is so thick like this, it's easy to lure them out into an open area. And there should be no issue bringing these things down at all. Um, usually if you hit a deer, I mean, you're going to hit some type of vital organ they're not too hard to bring down but the issue with um deer is going to be finding a nice one honestly it's super hard to find one with a, like decent antlers on it they're super small usually and i have had horrible luck trying to find a nice one to put on the wall but you know other people have different luck than me but honestly mule deer just look on the northwest side of that central hill and you'll find them no problem whatsoever now let's get into the bigger animals we're going to talk about elk Elk are ones that you, I would guess probably everyone who played this game has run into them, and we've probably all got one on the wall. Um, the easiest, I mean, we all know that the easiest area to find elk in was going to be Pawnee Meadow, just because you can basically spawn in at the lodge there, and you can see them walking out everywhere in front of you. They're not hard to find. 
but in Roosevelt Forest, they can be a little tricky, so I'm going to show you where exactly to find them. I'm on that central hill I'm talking about, I talked about the deer, and honestly, if you stand up here on this thing and just use your binoculars and look around, you should be able to spot them down below on the east and west side of the hill. Basically, use the hill as a vantage point, and you should have no problem locating these things. I will carry an out call on me, I just stand up there and you just see if I can't have them respond to me and locate them. And once they do respond to me, I try to just figure out where they are, where the next open area is, and just try to make sure I get a good shot off on them. So in this case, I had two respond to me. You're always going to find them in pairs, usually. Sometimes you'll find one out roaming by itself, but 90% of the time, you're going to find two elk roaming together. So you, it's usually a male or a female, or two males together. Just look for the largest one you got, wherever you're going to look nicest on the wall, and definitely go for your best shot here. So use the out collar to lure them into a good spot. Um, I recommend moving around a little bit. Don't lure them into the trees, really. Um, honestly, if you can get them, it's not hard to kill them in the trees at all, but elk are very particular about scent. So I would tell you, if you're really worried about getting one of these things, bring scent killer with you, but honestly, they're not too hard to bring down. Just get a nice lethal hit on it, and they go down pretty quickly. So, again, if you want to find elk the fastest, I would tell you that Pawnee Meadows is the best way. But if you want to find one in Roosevelt Forest, they're just going to be around that northern ridge, and they're super easy to bring down. Now let's talk about moose. Moose are a very, very valuable animal in this game. Like, up there with bears and just honestly a great animal to go hunting for. They're one of my favorites. Um, but there's no location where you can be like, this is where it's guaranteed to find a moose, sadly. So, all I can tell you your best luck for finding a moose is I would just wander around with your moose collar. Aww. So there is a river that breaks out before that lower pond in Roosevelt Forest. I typically walk up along that river and just blow my moose collar. And half the time, one will respond to me and I can bring one down. There's not like... That's, just, that's like the best advice I can give you for finding one. But again, it's not a guaranteed thing like some of these other animals. And it's just one of those things where it's down to your luck. If it's there, it's there, great. But sometimes the ones that are there are pretty small. Like you'll see in this clip right here. I was utterly disappointed when I finally found this guy. It's, kind of, it's just ridiculously small. But um, the collar is going to be your best friend. Um, I sometimes worry about scent and wind when I do find one of these things. Just because... I have such a problem finding them to begin with, but um, doesn't matter which one you bring down, they're always super valuable and a great thing to have. So this is probably the funnest animal for me to hunt in this game, but just make sure you're focusing on using your collar and just covering as much area as possible. They will respond pretty quick to the collar, and then once you do have them, you can lure them into a spot where you feel comfortable getting a shot in, and you should be able to bring in a couple of thousand credits just like that. Now let's talk about cougars. Cougars are one that, again, there is not a specific spot to find them. They're everywhere, and they respond very, very well to the predator collar. So, um, I found this one at the, I would say, kind of the northern part of the map where the river forks out, just kind of on those little uh, inlets over there. I would tell you that's where I found this one. And it's, they're not hard to bring down or anything, you, you know, pretty decent low caliber rifle but honestly they're not too hard to bring down they're worth about 4,000 credits on average and just use a predator collar wander around and look for them and you should have no issue finding them um, if you want to look for one relatively close to the lodge just head south of the lodge and just start calling for them and usually they'll show up that's where I've had some of my best success with them but again these are one of those that can be anywhere and I mean, sometimes you're not even guaranteed to be there when you spawn on the map. Sometimes you might have to go back to the lodge and reset. Now, black bears. Black bears are ones that you do have a guaranteed spot for them. And that's going to be at the northern portion of the map where the river is, like, I would tell you it's at the river where um, it's closest to that northernmost campsite up there. So, usually if you go up there, it's that's the only spot where I found a black bear. It's the northernmost camp. Walk down towards the river, start blowing your predator collar, and usually one will respond to you, and you can bring them down relatively quickly. Um, black bears are worth a couple thousand credits, and honestly, something you really should be going to 
hunt after just because it looks so nice in the lodge and a quick way to start farming up money. But um, it is a, I can tell you 90% of the time, if you go to that northernmost camp and walk down towards the river and start blowing the predator collar, a black bear will come out. Um, there's always a chance that, hey, sometimes the animal just isn't there and you just got to go back to your lodge and just load back into the Roosevelt Forest. But this is one that I feel safe saying it's pretty much guaranteed going up to that northernmost river fork and looking for them. Um, also, when you find black bears, I would tell you be hesitant to shoot just because most of the time they don't spawn in alone. Um, I've had multiple occasions where a cougar would spawn in with the black bear. So just kind of figure out which one looks better to you or if you can find out a way to get both of them. If you're bow hunting, you can usually bring down both of them. But usually if you find a black bear, there's going to be a... So, I mean, five, five out of ten times I'll tell you there's probably a cougar next to it. So definitely keep an eye on that. And really, it is guaranteed. I can promise you that northernmost river fort, you're going to find yourself a black bear. And I have no problem saying that. And I can guarantee that for anyone. Now, last but not least, everyone's most sought-after animal that I get the most questions and comments about I mean, to this day, is the grizzly bear. I don't know why I have such excellent luck finding these things, but I do nonetheless. So, I will preach it again and again. The central ridge, or the central hill here in Roosevelt Forest, is your best friend for grizzly bears. As you saw in the very first clip of this video, I was standing up on that hill, and I had two of them coming at me at once. The central ridge is where you're going to have basically, I would tell you, an 80% chance of finding these things. Make sure you bring your your um, Model 94 takedown, and I would say make sure you have your predator collar. That way you can have the best shot at bringing one of these things down. This one in this clip I found down south, uh, kind of towards the southernmost pond. So that means they can be anywhere, but your highest chance of finding them is that central ridge in Roosevelt Forest. Um, I have an entire separate video on grizzly bears. I mean, I had like two or three up, honestly. If you want more details, check out those videos. What I will tell you is make sure you have a Model 94 takedown, and it should take you one or two shots to bring one down. In this case, uh, it took me about three, so I got to find. But these things are worth over 4,000 credits usually, and honestly, it's super fun to hunt. But they're so common for me, I don't know why. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. I would appreciate it if you subscribe and leave a like and leave a comment down below if you really enjoyed it. And let me know what area you want to see next. I was thinking Carhiga County, but we'll figure that out depending on what you guys like. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you checking out Master Terror Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one.